Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. wandering around. I went to Kansas and so now I'm on my way back to Texas. We decided to bug out from Kansas a day early and just ended up at Coon Creek Cove Call Lake. So I, I've got Little Red, the high-speed mobility scooter. I've got the GoPro Hero 9 Max Lens Mod and best of all, I have you. So let's go take a little virtual tour of Coon Creek Cove, Call Lake. Cue the music. Won't be too long and campgroundviews.com is gonna put me out of business. No, they're not ever gonna put me out of business because uh, that fancy tool that campgroundviews.com has doesn't tell you much it just shows you pictures and connects to recreation.gov to show you site availability you don't have dude rv telling you what's good what's not so good so what's good about coon creek cove is that it is really remote I mean, really, really remote. So we're probably gonna have some beautiful starscapes to see this evening. Currently, there is no gate attendant, and so the whole reservation system has been thrown out the window and it's first available. Although I do see some reservation signs on some campsites. Quite a few campsites in this little, pretty little Corps of Engineer campground. Call Lake is on the Arkansas River. And when we get down here to the boat ramp, you'll see that, yes indeed, it does flood. And at times, parts of the park will be closed off due to flooding. You can see the water gets real high. There's a whole lot of pelicans on this lake too. So we'll go down here and check out the boat ramp and then we'll start looking at campsites. boat or with that boat he said he caught a whole mess of catfish out here on the lake today there's the boat ramp water level in the lake is down right now but you can see from all the driftwood that it doesn't stay that way well, I'm pretty sure call lake was constructed primarily as a, a flood control measure recreation secondary or probably municipal water secondary and recreation third dairy i haven't seen any handicap sites i'm sure they have some i just haven't seen any It is August, no, it is September 13, no, September 12, September 12, 2021, 
Sunday. And there are lots of beautiful campsites available here. Rather modern facilities. All right, so we're going to do a clover leaf down this loop and come across a gravel road and go back through that intersection. I noticed quite a few of these sites would be really difficult for a motor home to get level but there are still some that that will accommodate a big motor home lots of wind today have a beautiful playground a new one too well it was erected in 2017 compared to a lot of them that I've seen that's a new one the restrooms are all I'm not gonna say new but they're newer there's a prefab concrete building makes it easier, easier for them to be clean. Great views up here on the bluff. Just wait till you see the campsite that we have selected. I want to slow down for this curve. You, you don't want to miss this curve on a, on a little red handicap scooter. That could be quite painful going over that railing. These are the the really great sights. whip right in here and close it out. Man, just look at that beautiful view. Ha! These are always so much fun. I hope you enjoyed our little run through Coon Creek Cove Campground. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be truly honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, well, thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. I mean that with all of my heart. I, that's why I do what I do. That's why I'm here at Call Lake. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?